Hello everyone! I've been playing with the SDR play for the past few days and having a lot of fun with it. And now I was wondering would I be able to run the SDR play with the SDR UNO software on this small PC. This is called the Pipo X9. You can find the link where to get the Pipo X9 in, the co in my comments below. And this is a little, it's not a tablet, it doesn't have any battery. So it runs on 12 volts. It has four USB port, two on the side and two in the back. It has HDMI port. You also have an Ethernet port. It had an integrated Wi-Fi with an antenna. And this is a touch screen. This is a nine inch touch screen. There's a eight inch version, a seven inch version, also a 10 inch version. Uh, if you look at the SDR play beside the Pipo X9, you'll see that it's pretty small. But the good part of it is that it is angle like this. So when you put on a tabletop, you can actually see the screen pretty well uh, right on your desk. So this would be great as a pan adapter for those who want to use the SDR play as a pan adapter. So look at the size of it. It's very small, very compact. I did open it up and check if I can insert the PC board of the SDR play inside of it. I don't believe it will fit, okay? But if someone want to try it, well, go ahead. That would be cool just to have the antenna connector in the back and have it, have it all integrated in one box. So like I said, this is a 12 volt uh, unit. So that's very good. You can use a one amp 12 volt power pack or just plug it on your shack power supply. So let's try it out and see if this little box can run the SDR play with the SDR you know. You can see the Pipo X9 running the SDR you know with the SDR play. Uh, the sound is mute right now but what I want to show you is that the Pipo X9 can run the SDR you know with the SDR play. But you need to be careful because if you have multiple receiver or if you you enlarge the bandwidth of the spectrum, it will start lagging. It will lag in the audio. You will still have a good visual, but the audio, audio will lag. So maybe if it's for a pan adapter, it's not too bad. But if it's for uh, listening with it, you will have to reduce the bandwidth of the spectrum. Like here I have two megs. If I go in FM, I need to go in 500 kilohertz. Uh, because the audio was, will lag. So hold on a second. I'll just turn off the About mute. Ten minutes. Okay. Then the went off again. And then so, uh, I wrote back to him. I, I will well, change to four uh, mate. I I there you go. I said, but it's gone again. So he Can you see it's lagging? And it, you know, for, for now, okay. So yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll go back to okay. gorilla duct tape. You know what that stuff is like. Uh, okay. So the south facing row. And I was able to get it to come up quite a bit. And, uh, a little bit tight. And, I mean, <laughs> okay, I, yeah. first got that line and the noise the reductions work very well. Huh? Listen to this. And now uh, it's very about good. maybe six to eight inches away from the We got a bit of noise tonight, of but you can see. You can see that it can be uh, running. What you see, you hear is the sound on the people. Hold on a second, I'm going to bring it down. Oops. Just make sure I can realign my window. There you go. Oh. Okay, let's go in 2 meter and put it in FM. Can you see the CPU is getting higher? And now... Hold on a second. I'll just put in 146 in the middle of the band. You see it's lagging in FM at 2 meg. I'll put one leg, still lagging, see the CPU uh, here, that is very high, around 75%, so I will put it in 500 kilohertz, at 500 we're okay, 
so just to show you that so let's go into 80 meter again So you can see I'm going to mute it. So you can see that is uh, it is working okay on the Peepo X9. So if you want a small standalone SDR, you can use this type of computer. Hold on, put in two megs and. There, it's okay. It's still like uh, no, it goes up to 61.58, you know, around 60% of CPU usage. So that was the demonstration with the Pipo X9. I hope you enjoy, and see you later on. 73.